the beauty of the world. The nettle stands green. Hello, I'm Jane Valencia, and welcome to Elf Owl Harp. Elf Owl Harp is just what we heard right now, a small expression of harp and spoken word and whatever magic speaks to us in the coming together of those things. The harp has a long and rich elegant legacy of being used with the spoken word to create magic. The bards of old expressed the wisdom of their people and culture and passed that around and helped keep the fabric of the culture woven together. The bard of old had many years of training and mastery. Elf Owl Harp has at its philosophy the idea that we don't necessarily need mastery to express ourselves with words or with harp or harp and words together. That, in fact, in many ways, we are already masters. We're, the, we're whole. We have the wholeness of ourselves and the things that we're passionate about, the things that we've been drawn to all along in our lives, the paths that we've wandered. And we know where we've been and we know where we are. We know what's calling to us in our hearts. And there's a way to bring the heart of our nature together with the harp and with our voices. Now there's no set formula for how that looks. On the face of it, it can be harp and words such as storytelling, poetry, uh, we could use blessings, we can use descriptive passages, we could work from narrative, from passages from books that we love. These things can all be used and brought forth and then accompanied and wrapped up with harp in some form. Or we can use the harp to, let's see, be the center, you know, play a tune or a piece of music and then use our words to introduce that piece of music and consider that our introductions, the words we have to say about the harp, are helping us draw the listener in to our world. There isn't a set way. For instance, there are several Celtic poems, you know, ancient Irish lines of poetry or Welsh, where the harp is the forest. Our music can be our heartbeat. Our harp can actually sound other other sounds that are not necessarily what we consider as harp-like. And even as harpers and wordsmiths, poets, storytellers, elf owl harpers, we can turn to other instruments or other forms of expressing ourselves. It's just a philosophy. At the heart of the philosophy, though, is that we are working small expressions, like that little poem that I just told, which was just a line or two written by a young person, inspired by, <laughs> inspired by nettle, which is all around me. And I chose that poem because um, the playfulness of it spoke to me, the honesty, the just truthful, toss-off expression of it really spoke to me. And I also love 
the nettle, <laughs> the stinging nettle, and I, I, I wanted to bring that together with the harp. And then I had this purpose of making this little video to just give you a quick expression of what an elf owl harp piece can be, knowing that what you might put together will be likely quite different from mine. It'll be based on your own uh, sensibilities, your own the words that you're drawn to, your own ideas about what you want to present to the world. Because at the heart of it, Elf Owl Harp is about the magic of the world. It's about the imaginative, caring heart of yourself and things that capture your, your, your fancy, your curiosity, your imagination, the depth and breadth of your being. It's about taking all those qualities of yourself or just finding one and then presenting it with your harp, your, your wonderful companion, your harp, finding a way that you can work easily and quickly with each other that, that is simple for you to imagine and draft out and create a recipe for. And then, which also draws your listener into your world. It, hopefully it's a doorway, in a way, to what speaks to you and how it can link and connect and wave, say hello to what is important to them, to whoever is listening to you, that somehow there is this connection that can happen. Elf Owl Harp is an invitation. An invitation to grow and imagine with your harp and with your creative nature. It's about finding simple forms of expression. I could have just pulled a fifth as a drone to speak a poem. And that's enough. Just that little bit of weaving can open up a universe. <laughs>